hi there in this video we will learn about annuity factor which is basically one of the ways to conveniently solve a project which has a lengthy seed stream and series of cost and benefits and there is a common series of either of the costs or benefits or the net benefits let us see with the help of this example uh, we can also understand the formula and its application as we go through this example. Basically, it's a project with uh, a certain number of years. When we inquire it, it is 30 years of a project. And uh, this is capital cost stream. It spans over the first three years and then there is no capital cost. Thirdly, we have operation and maintenance cost. And for the first three years, it is absent because of the phase of the construction of the project. While from the fourth year, the operation and maintenance cost starts as the project has started to function. And it continues till the end. Then we have the benefits column in which there are no benefits for the first three years because there is no uh, working of the project therefore there aren't any benefits then we have the benefits they start from the fourth year when the project starts the operation the benefits are there and they continue till the end now we have v minus c which is the net benefit column in which we have simply taken the difference of b and c so here we are the difference of the two now we can focus on these green highlighted um, streams uh, they are common in this uh, set of years that is from the 21st to 20, uh, 30th year however the benefits they are common from 20th year till 30th year it means it is for 11 years and these two streams are common for 10 years but we are talking about the net benefits so we are going to talk about this stream which is common for 10 years that is from 21st till the 30th year now we calculate the discounting factors uh, definitely all these discounting factors have been calculated uh, but we have highlighted these because here there is some uh, convenience that we can create let us see how we can do this we know that the discounted net benefits are the product of the net benefits and the discounting factor. So we have done that minus 200 into 0.892. So we have uh, found the multiplication. So in a very detailed way, we can see that all the products have been listed here. But when it comes to this uh, part of the stream, we have noted these values in a certain way where the 87 is a common value so we have written it in this way that it becomes evident and the discounting factors they are also written as they are now the thing that we can notice is that 87 is common in all of these uh, expressions so we can take it as a common factor here you can see 87 has been taken as a common factor while the remaining terms they have been noted here which are the discount rates for the 20th 21st year till 30th year then we have uh, the answer of it which will be this this will be the sum of the discounting factors for 21st year till 30th year and 87 is the common net benefit and we are uh, uh, depicting it with c and b when we look uh, above there is a answer and that answer is actually the uh, NPV for these uh, years that is from 1st to the 20th year so we have added the discounted net benefits to get the NPV for these years however we are to find the NPV for all 30 years so we have to add this value of the 20 years into this value of the remaining 10 years that is from the 21st till the 30th year so in the next step we will add the values but before we go there uh, we also should know the formula of annuity factor this term is basically known as the annuity factor because in this uh, formula we have added the annual discounting factors and still it is um, since it is composed of the discounting factor so we we call it a factor um, so this is the formula 
and it shows that it starts from 21st year till 30th year all the discounting factors have been summed up now the formula is also there we can straight away find out the annuity factors um, this is the general formula 1 minus bracket start 1 plus r bracket close whole power minus t and it is whole divided by r so uh, r is the discount rate and t is the number of years but this has to be calculated and taken the difference of as we can see for 30 years we have to calculate it uh, firstly uh, and we will find the answer by putting the values it is this you can pause the video and see if the answer is correct it is basically for 30 years this is why in place of t we have written 30 and it includes all the net benefits that is ones that are different and ones that are constant or common and they are constant for these years and they are different for these 20 years so in this um, component we have introduced all of them because it is for 30 years then we have the discount uh, annuity factor for the first 20 years and we can easily calculate it by using the formula and the only difference will be this uh, value of uh, t the value of t here is 20 and the answer will be found this is for different years because for the first 20 years the net benefits are different now uh, this is not what we are looking for basically we are looking for the sum of these values so definitely if i can take the difference of the annuity factor of the 30 years from and uh, the annuity factor of the 20 years i will get the annuity factor for the rest of the years so from the total i have subtracted the 20 uh, years this annuity factor and this is the formula uh, annuity factor for 30 years and annuity factor for 20 years when we take the difference we get the annuity factor of 10 years where the 10 years are from the 21st till the 30th year and these are the net benefits which are common and remaining in this case because after deducting these 20 net benefits uh, or that area we are left with these remaining years and finally we have the annuity factors which is 10 years um, uh, by putting these values that we found in uh, these steps we have finally found the value of annuity factor which is 0.586 and it is from 21st till 30th year so this is how we can calculate the annuity factor now we can use this to find out the NPV in a little convenient way this is the NPV for the first 20 years that are different in terms of the values of net benefits here the standard formula of the NPV will be used that we have already learnt its value is found and you can do this on your own and the answer would be approximately this the other part however is for the common net benefits or the constant net benefits so after plus we have those common net benefits multiplied with the annuity factor for 21st till 30th year we have just done the formula uh, a few steps before and here we will do it again so here we are the formula is now solved and uh, once we put the values the answer would be there this is 59.96 this is definitely the product of the two this is not just an multi factor it is the product of c and b with it so this uh, multiplication sign basically depicts this now we can add these two values and once we do we will get the final answer which is approximately this so npv is negative definitely it is not recommendable this is how we can find out the npv by using the uh, method of annuity factor which is quite convenient in terms of calculations and is based upon simple arithmetics as well so this is an example of the annuity factor and we see annuity factor in npv thank you